Welcome to another video my AP Calc Champions. In this problem, we're talking about fish. So fish enter a lake at a rate modeled by the function e, given by e of t is equal to 20 plus 15 times sine of pi times t over 6. Fish leave the lake at a rate modeled by the function l, given by l of t is equal to 4 plus 2 to the 0 0.1 times t squared power. Both e of t and l of t are measured in fish per hour, and t is measured in hours since midnight. How many fish enter the lake over the five hour period from midnight, t equals zero, to 5 a.m., t equals five? Give your answer to the nearest whole number. We're being given these two equations, e of t and l of t, and we're being asked how many fish enter the lake over the five hour period. So, so since we're going from a rate to a number, it sounds like we're gonna want to take an integral. And more specifically, we're gonna be taking the integral of the equation of the rate of fish that enter the lake. So we would be taking the integral of e of t from 0 to 5. So that would be the integral from 0 to 5 of 20 plus 15 sine of pi times t over 6 dt. Since this is a calculator problem, we're going to go ahead and just plug that into our calculators. There's no reason for us to be, you know, integrating this by hand. So we get 153.4576 blah blah blah. And then you should make sure that you're actually giving it to the nearest whole number because that's what the problem told us to do. So we're going to round that down to 153. So our final answer for this problem is 153 fish. Moving on to the next problem, we've got what is the average number of fish that leave the lake per hour over the five hour period from midnight to 5 a.m.? So it sounds like we're going to want to be using the average value function, which is 1 over b minus a times the integral from a to b of some f of t dt. And in this problem, we, we can set our 5 equal to our b and our 0 equal to our a. So what that's going to look like is 1 over 5 minus 0 times the integral from 0 to 5 of now we need to pick whether we're going to be using e of t or l of t and so we can go back to the problem and actually see what it's asking us so it says the average number of fish that leave the lake so we're going to be using our leaving equation which is l of t so 4 plus 2 to the 0 0.1 t squared dt and then once again this is a calculator problem let's go ahead and just plug that into our calculator so we're going to get 6.059 Zero. Then we can just go ahead and round that to three decimal points. So we get 6.059 fish as our final answer for part B. Next problem. C says at what time t for zero is between or for t is between eight, zero and eight is the greatest number of fish in the lake. Justify your answer. So we're looking for the greatest number of fish in the lake. So at some point, the number of fish that have entered the lake is going to surpass the number that are actively leaving. And so we would define this as a critical point. Critical point, or more specifically, this would be a maximum. Maximum for zero. Is between or for t is between 0 and 8. What are we actually going to define as the number of fish in the lake at a certain amount of time? We can call it maybe big F of t should be equal to the number of fish that have entered the lake at whatever point minus the number of fish that have left the lake, right? That should make sense that as fish are swimming into the lake and as other fish are leaving, the rate of fish would be the difference between those two functions. So we're defining f of t as the rate of change of total fish in the lake. So if we're gonna be using our candidates test, we would need to find the critical points of the function. So what that means is we're gonna to have to use the first derivative test to find those critical points. So all we need to do is find where this is equal to zero. Find where e of t minus l of t is equal to zero. At that point, we should have a critical point by the first derivative test because these are the first derivatives of the number of fish that are entering and exiting the lake. That would be equal to 20 plus 15 sine pi times t over six minus four plus two zero one t squared. Where does this equal zero? We just go ahead and we plug that into our calculator. So we get that t is equal to 6.204 hours. 
So that looks like it's our one critical point. So by continuing our Canada test, we're gonna have T and then we're gonna have F of T where this is the number of fish in the lake. So with our candidate sets, we're going to evaluate it at the endpoints. So that's going to be at 0 and 8. And then we're also going to evaluate it at our critical point, which is 6.204, where the first derivative is 0. Okay, so the number of fish in the lake, f of t is going to be defined as the integral from 0 to t of e of t minus l of t. This will give us the number of fish remaining in the lake. So if we plug in for zero, from zero to zero of e of t minus l of t dt, put dt zero. This is just gonna be, you know, the integral from zero to itself, so this is gonna be zero. So it's probably not gonna be the maximum, but you never know. Then we evaluate it at t equals 6.204 e of t minus l of t dt. We go ahead and we just plug that into our calculator and that will give us 135.0149 and then we do the same thing for our last endpoint so 0 to 8 the integral of that and this would be 80.9199 so it looks like the time at which we have the maximum number of fish in the lake would be t is equal to 6.204 and that's because we've compared it to all the other candidates, so that would be any other critical points, which we didn't have any, and the endpoints of our function, so that would have been 0 and 8, and we found that 135 was greater than the values at those times. So uh, our answer here is going to be t.6204. That is the time at which the greatest number of fish is in the lake. Moving on to the last problem, it says, is the rate of change of the number of fish in the lake increasing or decreasing at 5 a.m.? T equals 5. Explain your reasoning. The rate of change of the number of fish increasing or decreasing. So we know that E of T and L of T are the rate of change of the fish entering and leaving the lake. Now we need to figure out whether this rate of change is increasing or decreasing. So if you're seeing rate of change and then increasing or decreasing, we're focusing on the rate of the rate of change. So that should be a signal to you, like that should there should be exclamation points, a, a light bulb moment in your head that this is a second derivative. Second derivative. So in this case, since our E of T and our L of T is the first derivative, what we're gonna wanna do is we're gonna wanna take the derivative of those. And more specifically, we're gonna be wanting to take the derivative at time t equals five. Okay, so the rate of change is gonna be e prime of t minus l prime of t. This is gonna be our rate of change of our rate of change. And then we wanna find that at time t equals five. So we plug in, plug this into our calculator and we are gonna get that this is minus 10.7228. Since this is less than zero, since it's a negative number, we would say that the rate of change in the number of fish in the lake is decreasing at time t equals 5 because e prime of 5 minus l prime of 5 is less than 0. The rate of change in the number of fish in the lake is decreasing at time t equals 5. And that should be our answer for part d. So basically, we just took the derivative of the derivative to find whether the rate was increasing or decreasing, and we looked at its sign. Hopefully this helps you out with this AP Calculus problem. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them down below and I'll get back to you, and I hope you have a great rest of your day.